Well, it's Friday night, but I ain't going nowhere. Thought I'd grab a beer, write myself a tune. Wondering why you walked away, wondering what I didn't say, wondering why I'm talking to the moon. Won't you come on back? It's time for talking. Well, you've been gone now since the early part of June. Well, come on home and you will see how you've got the best of me and how you got me talking to the moon. Would it help to say that I've been lonely? Would it help to know I'm feeling blue? Go to bed and close my eyes. I never stop to wonder why. I always let you down. I know I do. But can't you see I'm trying to say I'm sorry. And can't you see my heart, it's broken too. So come on home, let's raise a glass. Here's to us, forget the past. And here's to those still talking to the moon. Would it help to say I've been lonely? Would it help to know I'm feeling blue? Go to bed and close my eyes. I never stop to wonder why. I always let you down. I know I do. But it's Friday night. And I ain't going nowhere I just sat right here I wrote myself this tune But now it's done and so's my beer Honey, come, let's get out of here It's time I did some talking Cause maybe I've just been squawking But baby, I'm tired of talking to the moon I did say that I would introduce you again after the first song, just so people knew who they were listening to. And let's see if I've learned. Gary Bosley? That's perfect. Yes, this you got it. getting a lot easier. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. And that was nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, are these all going to be originals tonight? or Most of them will. The first three are going to be originals. Then I might play a Harry Chapin song. Okay. So, I'll, yeah. I may recognize it in that case. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I may play along. Okay. Well, I look forward. This, I'm going to hop this, out of the way. This is a song that he wrote during the Upper Bout songwriter session. Which you have told me about, so I'm looking forward to hearing the, and, the fruits of the it's, labors. It's the one song that I stolen from him and played in public before. Is he just now finding out? <laughs> no, no I, okay. th I, I enjoy the way he plays it. So, so I'm just going to try to noodle along with him. Yeah, this is a song about a man who's looking for love on the Internet. Right. 
Hey, pretty baby, you know that it's true. I searched the internet till I found you. I've been in love since a quarter till two. Now won't you tell me that you love me too? I love my mama, love my pa. I love my cousin down in Arkansas. Way down yonder where they say y'all. Won't you tell me that you love me too? Now online dating, that's the best place for me. There's women by the score. There's Zeusk and Tinder and eHarmony. There's Match and many more. I still remember that moment we met. I got online and now I'll never forget those pictures of you smoking four cigarettes. Oh, tell me that you love me too. Now I've been to London, and I visited France, and, and I've seen Milwaukee too. I'm not much to look at, but I knows how to dance. Ain't I the match for you? Hey, pretty baby, you know that it's true. I searched the internet till I found you. I've been in love since a quarter till two. Now won't you tell me that you love me? Say you're thinking of me. How could you not love me too? How could you not love me too? Oh, that works. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that did work. I was born in North Carolina, and I came here from Georgia, and I think I have heard Y apostrophe A-L-L -L more from New Yorkers exactly. than I did from anybody down south. Down south. Could be. Good to know. It's kind of like sweet tea. It has spread. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. That's all. Just want to... Guitar right here in two nine. Okay. Here's a song I wrote about three years ago. It's called Won't You Come Home? I wake up in the morning, you're not lying next to me. I'm reaching for my glasses, but without them I still see I'm all alone. Oh, won't you come on home? I drag myself to breakfast, but the coffee, it is cold. The eggs ain't over easy. And the bacon's tasting old, and you ain't home. When you're coming home, I'm all alone. Won't you come on home? Oh, 
you should be standing here with me. Home, if you come back, you're going to see a different side of me. I'm sitting on the sofa, just staring at the door. Your coat's there in the closet. There's a scarf down on the floor, but you ain't home. When you're going come home, I'm walking after midnight, just like Patsy Cline. Thinking about you, baby hell, you're always on my mind, but you ain't home. When you're coming home, I'm all alone. But won't you come on home? I know that's where you are to be Home You should be standing here by me Home If you come back You're gonna see There's a different side of me I go to bed this evening you're not lying next to me I'm taking off my glasses but without them I still see I'm all alone oh, won't you come on home There's a rooster crowing somewhere. A new day has begun. I pour two cups of coffee, but I'm only drinking one till you come home. When you're coming home, I'm all alone. But won't you come on? Won't you come on home? Won't you come on home? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get my harmonica now and try a Harry Chapin song. To give you just a little background on this song, it's a story song uh, from the 1830s. A farmer is standing at a railroad station and he sees a train coming and he knows that on that train there's just one passenger, his mail order bride, come to meet him for the first time. The song's called Mail Order Annie. At first, I did not think it could be you. You're the only one who got off the train. 
So you must be my wife, Miss Annie Halsey. Yes, yes. I must be your husband. Hello, I'm Harry Crane. Mail order Annie. Never mind your crying. Your tears are sweet rain in my empty life. Mail order Annie. Can't you see I'm trying to tell you that I'm glad you're here. You are the woman who's come to be my wife. You know you're not as pretty as I dreamed you'd be. But then again, I ain't no handsome fancy Dan. And out here looks are really not important. No, no. It's what's inside a woman when she's up against the land. Mail order Annie, never mind your crying. Your tears are sweet rain in my empty life. Mail order Annie, can't you see I'm trying to tell you that I'm glad you're here. You are the woman who's come to be my wife. You know it ain't no easy life you're entering. The winter wind comes whistling through the cracks there in the sod. And you know you'll never have too many neighbors. But there's you, girl, and there's me. And there's God. I am just a dirt man from the North Dakota Plains. You're one girl from the city who's been thrown out on her own. And I'm standing here not sure of what to say to you except in mail order Annie let you and me go home mail order Annie never mind your crying your tears are sweet rain in my empty life. Mail order Annie, can't you see I'm trying to tell you that I'm glad you're here. You are the woman who's come to be my wife.
Okay. Looks like I have maybe time for one more here. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'll end tonight with the, uh, it's a, also a story song, one that I wrote many, many, many years ago, probably as much, many as 40 years ago. I, I think I was, I think I was 18, 19 when I wrote this for my nieces who were about four or five at the time, and they're in their 50s now, so... <laughs> On the inside window ledge of Andrew's candy store Stands a soldier made of chocolate cream And his uniform is dusty from the months gone by He stands alone, he's hardly ever seen And many people pass into the candy store And children sometimes beg, they sometimes moan But mothers never let them buy the soldier man No one seems to want to take him home For a chocolate man Who's hollow on the inside Aren't we all? Who'd give three dollars For memories Of empty times And feeling all night when everyone is fast asleep the soldier man will stir then waken up he marches round the candy store with gun in hand a chocolate guard no larger than a pup we sure all locked he marches for the candy trays And then he checks up on the cookies and the pies Then he marches back and he climbs up to his window ledge Looks out upon the empty street and sighs Oh, who'd give three dollars for a chocolate man Who's hollow on the inside Aren't we all? Who'd give three dollars For memories Of empty times And feeling all Fire starts one night within the candy store And the flicker of a flame is quickly seen If nothing's done, the candy store will surely burn But the chocolate guard, he's marching to the scene Well, the next day, Andrew opens up his candy store. The remains of smoke and fire are all but gone. And standing in the window 
is the chocolate man whose burned and melted body stands alone. Oh, who'd give three dollars for a chocolate man who's hollow on the inside? Aren't we all? Who'd give three dollars for memories of empty times and feeling all alone? Yet the chocolate man, he's still feeling all alone. I apologize for that. I'm supposed to play that without the capo, and I could not quite get up to some of those notes. But Anyway, now it is time for Mr. Mike Feldman to kind of come over and take over the second half hour. May I just share a historical note while we do the transition? Please. You, you were absolutely right, but I, something tickled in my brain, and I was trying to figure out how two things fit together. The Harry Chapin song is, in fact, set in North Dakota in 1830. The first major train was invented in 1829, so I was trying to figure out how it got there that fast, but sure enough, that's, uh, that's the timeline. So trains were probably a bigger novelty than mail-order brides. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hi. I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, it, I don't think you've seen me since the last song. I am. So I should explain to listeners, especially if they're tuning in late, that Mike Feldman, who is usually in back doing sound engineering, is the performer for this half hour. So if you've wanted to see and hear more of Mike, you'll have to wait to see him until it goes on YouTube, but and, you can hear him now. And here I am tuning late. Oh, if only you'd been here for sound check. Yes, <laughs> indeed. And hadn't been doing sound check rather than. All right, so I decided to bring out the um, the old Martin that's as old as I am. Oh my! And I got it in terribly damaged condition in nineteen seventy one or maybe seventy two. When you were five. When I was, yeah. <laughs> you already gave your age earlier in the show, so yeah. I, I can only be so convincing here. Yeah, so um, so I found it um, in pretty bad condition and offered like 25 bucks to the owners. The, mm -hmm. Their kids had been playing with it, and it was like broken in several okay. different ways. You, you're sure the Who hadn't broken it? No. Okay. And um, it was El Cabong, I think. Okay. And... Um, I, I took it to John Gray, and he kept it for several months and then charged me the grand total of $35,1972 uh, to repair it. That sounds like a deal. And, uh, and I found out later from Martin's representatives at a uh, workshop that it was made pretty much at the same time I was made. Wow. So um, so you're twins. It, it and I are about 73. <laughs> now, what you need to do is you need to work out an arrangement where the guitar ages and you don't. Ha. And you can commit all sorts of sins and they won't <laughs> catch up with you. So, but it's it's a parlor-sized guitar and it's kind and I've got it tuned um, slack. And um, so anyway, I just heard that, sadly, John Gray passed away this past weekend. Oh, no. And so I thought I'd bring out this guitar. Uh, that's not just a coincidence that you're telling the story. It, then. Yeah, I, I'll use it for a song, and it's, um, it's sort of the memorial performance. So in memory of John Gray. Well, it sounds like he, he did good things with his life. Yeah. And... Um, I'm going to start off with um, with a Bible story. 
I, in all the time we've worked together, I don't think <laughs> you've ever done that. <laughs> and um, it, it was written by the Reverend Robert Wilkins. Okay. Way back when, if you look on YouTube, you can find his son, um, who will do a lot more verses to this song. But it's the story of the prodigal son. Ah. And, of course, I learned it from Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Which song is that? Is it called the, Prodigal Son? The Prodigal Son, yes. I think I... Which... It's on a very early album. Huh. I thought I knew early Rolling like Stones. Like the Rolling Stones Now, maybe? Or one of those early Like 63, 64 in there? Yeah. I need to go back and... Anyway, anyway. I, I'm eager to hear it. I'll, I'll launch into I usually use it as an opener. I've taken some liberties with it. For example, I stole the opening lick from a different Stone song. You're not going to jump around like Mick? No. Uh, that, that would make for compelling video. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, with no compulsion in mind, okay. here we go. Uh, took his father's bread and he started down the road he started down the road he took his father's bread and he started down the road going out in this world well god only knows yeah and that'll be the way to get along when that a dumb shit spent all they had Famine come into the land. Famine come into the land. He spent all he had. Famine come into the land. I believe I go and hire me out to some man. And that'll be the way to get along. Well, now the man said, I'll give you a job. For to feed my swine, for to feed my swine, yeah, I'll give you a job for to feed my swine. And poor boy, well, he hung his head and cried. He says, that's no way to get along. So I believe I ride, I believe I go back home. Believe I go back home, yeah, believe I ride, believe I go back home. Or oh, down this road as far as I can go, yeah. father says we'll see my son he's coming home to me coming home to me singing and praying well he drops down to his knees yeah singing and praying lord have mercy on me mercy when that poor boy when he got there, he hung his head and cried. He hung his head and cried. The youngest son, he hung his head and cried. He says, Father, won't you look on me as a child? Yeah. Well, the father says to the eldest son, Kill that fatted calf. Call the family round. Kill the calf. Call the family round. 
Well, my son was lost, but now he is found. Yeah, and that'll be the way to get along. Yeah, that's the way that we could get along. Yeah, that's the way that we shall get along. And just a quick programming note. Uh, when you said early Rolling Stones, I was thinking before they were famous, uh -huh. and it was actually on Beggar's Banquet from 1968. Oh, so. yeah, I'm confusing it with um, something. I'll do another uh, <laughs> another song by an American blues well, icon. That doesn't delegitimize it. It just <laughs> means it's actually, it means I should have known it a lot sooner than I did, because it's from a pretty famous album. Yeah, it has that... Um, is the uh, opening to um, Factory Girl. Well, you know, you could always <laughs> say you only know it from their demos and their sessions from before they actually... No, I know it from the album. Okay. Well, that that's an album that probably a lot of people know it from, and I was a little slow there. But okay. now I know that Robert Wilkins originated it. And Robert Wilkins was not credited on the original release. It was credited to uh, Jagger Richards, and they went back and fixed it. Yeah. So if you have an original with the, the white... Cover that's I'm just pretty tech. sure I have a fixed version. Okay. Yeah, it um, got spayed. <laughs> well, it was delayed because the art was too controversial, so they restored it. On the guitar, we're good on the guitar. Okay, I, I just think I'm just gonna do a um, uh, finger pickers anthem. And that was called Angie. And it was written by a British blues guitarist named Davy Graham. But I learned it from Paul Simon off of an early Simon and Garfunkel album. I think maybe it was the sound on the Sounds of Silence. I'm glad you clarified. I thought you meant the senator at first. <laughs> no, nor the, uh, uh, the um, political analysis center oh yes yes that <laughs> they they have some good covers yeah we'll we'll not talk too much 
politics tonight. That's a good idea. Give me ruby red lips and a bright poppy rouge and a shingle bob haircut and a shot of good booze. Hurry down, sweet daddy. Come blowing your horn if you come too late. Mama will be gone. down young man well everything is set and right my husband's gone away till well next Saturday night hurry down sweet daddy he's coming your horn if you come too late Mama will be gone. Well, how do you do? Red Rooster says, Oh, cock a doodle doodle do. And the rich land woman says, Will any cocky doodle do? Hurry down, sweet daddy. Come blowing your horn. If you come a too late. Your mama will be gone. Mississippi John Hurt and um, do, 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 do. um I think I'll do that um a Chuck Berry song that is another song that I learned from Mick and Keith <laughs> This is the one that um, 
John Lennon got in trouble with the um, copyright owner. Oh, is it uh, uh, the one uh, that Come Together ripped off? Yes. Oh, okay, I like I like the Chuck Berry much better. <laughs> it's called You Can't Catch Me. Yes. And I like it because it's about a flying automobile. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, here we go. You Can't Catch Me. I bought a brand new Airmobile. It was a custom made. It was a flight to Ville. It had a powerful motor and some hideaway wings. Pushing on the button and you can hear her sing. Now you can't catch me. No, baby. Can't catch me Cause if you get too close You know I'm gone like a cool breeze of drizzling showers and then here comes old flat top he comes moving up with me on his oh no cycle and then some souped up jitney i put my foot in my tank and i begin to roll moaning sirens well it was the state patrol so i let out my wings, I blew my horn, bye-bye New Jersey, well I become airborne, now you can't catch me, oh no you can't catch me, cause if you get too close you know I'm gone like a coo. Breeze. Flying with my baby last Saturday night. There, there weren't no gray clouds floating in sight. Big full moon flying up above. We'll cuddle up, honey, yeah. Be my love, your sweetest thing I ever seen. I'm gonna call you Maybelline. We're flying on the beam, set to flight control. The radio's tuned to rock and roll. Two, three hours passes by. Altitude, well, it drops to 505. The fuel consumption is way too fast. Let's get on home before we run out of gas. Now you can't catch me Oh no, you can't catch me Cause if you get too close You know I'm gone like a coo
Oh, well, it looks like we've got a few minutes left. And um, uh, I think we're, Gary and I are going to just go out on another finger pickers anthem. So he, he, so just the one. Okay. Any idea? A few minutes, 10 minutes, yeah. I just want to know yeah. what you guys think. Too fast? Oh. Did you want to talk before we? I don't have to. Okay. I, I just want to have a song ready. Okay. It'll be, uh, well, we'll take five minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, actually, uh, stay tuned. Uh, next hour will be a lot of retro stuff, but I have two new local CDs to play. So stay tuned for Chris Mondak Ooh. and Dada Veda. Oh, great. Yeah, we had Dada Veda last week. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I wish I could learn the lyrics for this, but I never have. I like the Joe Brown version from, from the uh, end of the, um, the, Was it the concert for George. Yes. Yeah. The yeah, exactly. John, the George Harrison Memorial Concert. So, um, do 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 do. So I think we're done for the night. Thank you. And say good night. Yep. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>